guys, Alicia here. Welcome to my new series on AMA TV called Pin Win, where I basically take a pin from Pinterest and try to turn it into a winning product. Now I say try because we know there are so many pin fails out there where you see a pin on Pinterest and you're like, oh, I, I can make that, I can do that. And then you make it and it turns out to be this monstrosity, a pin Pinterestity rather. Now I'm not shooting for that, but who knows, it could happen. Basically the idea is to see when you see a pin and you say, I wonder if I can make that. It's like, hey, maybe we'll watch Alicia make it and see if she can make it and then if she can make it I could probably make it and if she can't make it then I probably can't make it or I don't know maybe our skill levels are different or maybe you could just watch my fail and then make it better I don't know so today's pin is going to be the diaper tricycle and if you look on Pinterest under baby shower for boys you'll see tons of these diaper tricycles you can actually just purchase them on Etsy but um, there are blog posts that tell you how to make them. It's just basically an assembly of like diapers and basic baby stuff. Now this is a gift for my sister's baby shower. She is having a boy. I chose this gift because it's fun and creative and also highly useful because the person can, you know, disassemble it at some point and actually use the diapers and use the bibs and everything else for the baby. And it will also double as decor at the event because the idea is that this tricycle is gonna look freaking awesome because it'll just be sitting there like this badass tricycle made out of diapers and everyone's gonna love it and then it'll be functional later. So let's get started. We'll go on Pinterest. And I have um, clicked through to this blog called One Dog Wolf and they actually have a pretty good description on how to make this diaper tricycle. I'm not one to actually go by the book precision style, but this will just give us a general idea. So the first main thing that you need is one big old pack of diapers, and this is the infant size. Bibs, very important. I got this one at Target. He is an American boy, and he's going to need this at one point. We've got a bottle, which becomes the headlight on the tricycle, because the tricycle needs a headlight. Ribbon, fat ribbon, skinny ribbon. I might grab some fabric from my stash at some point. Stapler. And then this onesie, which I might use on the back of it, we'll see. And they recommend a cake pan, just a round cake pan. This is gonna help me form the circular tires for the tricycle. Oh, and then most importantly, this is the cutest touch. These little booty socks are gonna go on the handlebars. And then we have the blankets, the burp, burp cloths. So these will be used to just kind of construct the bike, and then also these are functional as well. And there's a lot of different color themes you can do with this. You know, if the baby has a certain theme, you can do it all green, you can do it all blue, kind of like style it however. Okay, so I've opened up my box of Pampers. Look at how tiny they are. Like this is for the new baby. I'm so excited, he's, he's gonna be my nephew. I'm gonna love him. So the cake pan, we're gonna take the diapers and kind of arrange them. These smell good. <laughs> they smell good now. It said, a lot of the blogs said you only need like 80 diapers. Um, this box is 120. I would just, I would say the big pack, you know, depending on, I guess the size. You could even make this for a first birthday. I mean, they still wear diapers. I don't know what kid wants that for their birthday though. Okay, so we'll use about one third of the diaper pack for each wheel. Get in there, little diapers. I guess this kind of stemmed from the idea of a diaper cake, which is something else that people make for baby showers. But, you know, the diaper tricycle is the new diaper cake, so get with the program, people. And then rubber bands. Oh, that's not big enough. This is a pin win, remember? Gotta make it work. Oh, look at that. That wasn't so hard at all. So we're taking the diapers and kind of just cascading them. Man, when I first read the directions and I was like, a cake pan? I like, I'm sure I could form a circle without that. No. It's very helpful. For those of you who don't know what a new diaper smells like, it's... I don't know. I don't even know what it is. It's like good... I don't know. <laughs> it's like baby powder. It kind of smells like a baby, but it really doesn't. It's like... You just associate the smell with a baby. So it's making me feel really excited about, about the baby. <laughs> so I'm taking and rolling into little tubes for the middle. So far, this pin is winning, I gotta say. Get in there. Yes. That's pretty secure. I was gonna use um, ribbon to just tie the diapers together, but I highly recommend a rubber band. The stretchiness of it really helps make it feel really nice and secure. Okay, so here's the first two wheels. I made the third wheel. I know I said I wanted to make it bigger than the first two, and that was a little tricky because 
I only had one size cake pan. It would kind of be perfect if you had like a 10 inch cake pan and an 8 inch cake pan, but what I did was I made the 8 inch and I used a little bit looser rubber band and then I kind of just went around and just stuck in another row. Now that we have these basically assembled, we want to make them pretty. So I just cut these three strips of fabric. Thought it would accentuate the ribbon, make it stand out a little bit more, and then staple it shut. I swear crafting is, is never a precision thing. It cannot be. You just gotta take what you have and make it work. And it's great if you do a lot of this type of stuff and you can save fabric and scraps of this and that because you never know what you're gonna be able to use. Okay, so that's there, and then the ribbon on top. One thing I know about crafts is the more stuff you do to them, like the more effort you put into them and the more you just keep going with the you know, details and that kind of thing, the better they look. That's the same with you know, graphic design or video editing or anything, anything creative. Just keep working it. Okay, I gotta say, this is really a winning pin so far. I've got all three tires. Remember when I first was reading this blog post, I was like, oh yeah, three tires, got it. And after that, things got a little bit more complicated. So we've got our four burp cloths. Basically, we're going to use these as, you know, just like tie the thing together. Okay, so we'll fold them into a ribbon like... Oh, these are tiny! Hmm, flannel burp cloths from Gerber. Don't recommend. Well, for this anyway. I'm sure they're perfectly fine for burping. So the back two tires, we want to tie together. <laughs> ah, I won't fail at this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so I just finished um, pinning these two burp cloths together because they were not long enough and flipping this thing around. So the back, the wheels are on the side of the front wheel and the seams are down. I've got a toilet paper roll, which still isn't quite wide enough, but See, this is why it's so easy for pins to fail, because you think it's gonna work out a certain way, and then one little thing happens and it kinda of sets everything off. One thing I can tell you about this diaper tricycle is that it's not gonna be the most sturdy thing in the world. So I can imagine, like, I'll put it together and then probably need to tweak it, you know, when I, when I get there. So the one part about the tricycle that I do understand is the front. Okay, so you've got this blanket that goes all the way through, and it's going to come up to make the handlebars. Okay, so it crosses over and you tie it off. And this is where the bottle goes. So this is the headlight. This is where these come in. They're little handlebars. How adorable. They're stuffed. I'm going to leave them stuffed. Soon they'll be stuffed with his little baby feet. <laughs> we got, um... The front kind of put together, just like I knew when I looked at all these pictures, I was like, how do these stand up on their own? I didn't think they would, but I don't know. I just grabbed some like fire um, grill skewers, or you can use chopsticks, or basically any kind of stick. Stick that guy in there. Okay, so now we're gonna add the bib, which is kind of just a nice finishing touch. Oh, I like it. All right, so here's the finished product. I actually took off the old bow and added a new bow. Thought it made it look a little better. I dig it. I think the American flag bib makes it look like he's just ready to jump on it and, you know, join the Sons of Anarchy tricycle style. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is it a win? Is it a fail? Um, are there any pins on Pinterest you think I should try next? Well, thank you for watching AMA TV, this episode of Pin Win. Make sure you check out all the other episodes. They're all travel videos as of this point. And actually the, well, not the next one I'm going to make, but the next travel video is going to be in Dubai. I just found out I'm going there for work. So that'll be awesome. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. All of the, you know, videos will probably get posted out there, especially on Twitter. Um, so that's at Alicia May Webb, and good luck making your own diaper tricycle should you decide to do so. I recommend it. I think it's a cool thing. Yeah, I dig it. <laughs> so now we're going to give the gift to the pregnant lady. Let's get a belly shot. Belly shot, belly shot. Come on over and see what I made for you. Diaper tricycle.